Well, parents in one local school district are fuming over these pictures of an overcrowded school bus in St. Lucie County. The mom of the student who took these photos showed children sitting in the aisles and on each other's laps during their ride to Southport Middle School this morning. New at 530, News Channel 5's Amy Littman heard these parents and they say they fear for their children's safety. Hey guys, whenever parents put the their children on a bus, how was the bus ride? They have to trust they'll get to school safely. I'm very frustrated and very sad. These two parents of sixth graders in Southport Middle School say that trust is broken. It's not safe. I would not want my child or anybody else's child to be put in harm's way. They say since the beginning of the school year, the bus their sixth graders ride carries too many students. Well, I feel crowded. Then today, when Christine Lascalo was headed out to run errands, she told me she witnessed a child sitting on the floor in the back of her daughter's bus. It's not my child that's sitting on the floor today, but that doesn't mean that next month it won't be my child or her friend. And inside that same bus this morning, Melissa Farley says her daughter took these pictures. The kids are sitting in the aisleway as the bus is currently moving and that another child is sitting on someone else's lap that's already got the number of students to a seat. Both parents say they've contacted the school and the district transportation office multiple times, even going in person to the transportation office, but they say they're being told the bus isn't at capacity. The district spokesperson told me that bus has 46 riders and the capacity is 65. She says the transportation office looked through video of the bus from this morning and didn't find any evidence of overcrowding. She said this picture shows the moment when a student couldn't find a seat at one point, but the bus driver helped that child fit three to a seat before moving the bus. District policy is a bus won't move if a child is in the aisle. And she says in this photo, the bus's stop arms are out. But these parents say pictures prove an additional route is needed needed to get these kids to and from school as safely as possible, which is what the school district says is always their goal. If this bus gets into an accident, there's going to be a lot of children that are going to be hurt. Reporting in St. Lucie County, Amy Littman, WPTV News Channel 5.